Welcome back to the third day of Holy Week Devotions. Today's scripture comes from Matthew 21. It's a story of Jesus in the temple. Hear these words. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those who were selling doves. It's written, he said to them, that my house will be called a house of prayer, but you're making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did, and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. There's two parts to this story. I'm guessing you're familiar with the first. The first is where Jesus comes into the temple. It's called the cleansing of the temple. And he overturns the tables of the money changers because this isn't supposed to be a livestock auction. This is supposed to be a house of prayer for the nations. Jesus is upset because people are exploiting the poor and the foreigner who've come a long distance to worship. That shouldn't be happening there. The second part of the story is significant. We often don't look at that part. The scripture tells us right after that happens that the lame, the sick, the poor, the foreigner, they are attracted to Jesus. They come to Jesus and they're healed by him. Isn't that interesting if you think about it? These people have come from all over to worship God. And when they get there, they encounter a person who is so attracted to them that they're drawn to him. They discover this person, this healer, is in fact Jesus, who is God in the flesh. I don't know what you're searching for this week, but I hope that you find not just a God who is upset with injustice, but also a God who welcomes people who feel far off. Here's some questions for you to consider today. Let's pray together. Jesus, it was your passion for the lost and those who were neglected that turned over tables and attracted the marginalized. Would you clean out our hearts? Toss out the thoughts that turn us against our neighbor, against the stranger, against the foreigner. And may your church again be a house of prayer for all people. Amen. Friends, may God be with you and bless you with his community.